I'm Fox 13 News anchor Bob Evans. Helen Jo Stoddard has seen 101 Memorial Days, and to her, each one has been sweet. She loves this country very much. Helen's late husband, Lauren, was a B-24 pilot who was shot down on May 29, 1944, about 50 miles off the coast of Saipan. This is the story of what happened to him. 16 months he was missing in action. That must have been terrifying it for you. It was terrible. Nothing but a short telegram saying Captain Lawrence Stoddard and his crew were missing in action. Naturally, anyone would think the worst. But not Helen Joe. My patriarchal blessing, and you know what those are. Mm -hmm. well, the very last line said that if I'd married a good man, that I would have a family. And you had no children at that time? No. Mm -mm. And that was it. And that's what kept you going. That's what kept me going. And I thought, well, he's a very good man. Captain Stoddard and his crew were part of a bombing and reconnaissance mission over Saipan. <laughs> and were headed home when one of their group lost an engine and started to fall behind. Captain Stoddard surveyed his crew, and to a man, they determined to stay with the crippled aircraft to provide cover, knowing they too would be in grave danger. And sure enough, a Japanese Zero fired on Lauren's plane, starting a fire in the left wing, sending the crew down to the Pacific. Oh, here, here. Oh, that's where he's shot down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now these are actual pictures yeah. of mm -hmm. him being shot down. Mm -hmm. Extremely rare pictures. Six of his crew were killed in that crash, but Lauren and three others survived. And he was thrown out of his airplane. I mean, he was, that meant the seat that he was bolted to the floor in the airplane. He went right through the glass in the window. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Coming to his senses, he found himself underwater, desperate for air. He just said, Lord, I need help. And he says, he bumped his head on this life raft that had come out of the airplane. And so he got in the life raft and it fell over on his airplane and it was full of gasoline and it was on fire. And he says, jump, he says, I can't. He says, jump. And so he jumped and got him in the life raft. The four men were captured by the Japanese. And it was interesting because the Japanese had graduated, from, spoke good English, graduated from the University of California. And sent to a prisoner of war camp in Yokohama. Don't look up. As it turned out, it was the same prisoner of war camp in which 1936 Olympic athlete Louis Zamperini, who had joined the war effort, was confined and tortured, as depicted in the movie Unbroken. Miruna! It wasn't until August the next year when the atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki that all the POWs were finally set free and word filtered back that Lauren was alive. Only 112 pounds, but alive. And when they did find him, well, they took him to the Philippines for a month and we didn't know that. And they took him there to fatten him up. Finally, Lauren's brother called Helen Joe. And he called me and he says, um, Lauren just called me from San Francisco and he says, come and pick me up. She had always known it would happen. He came in and he looked around and of course we had hugs and kisses and so forth. And then he looked around and he says, where's, where's Aaron? And his brother had been killed in in the um, Battle of the Bulge. As a consequence of time, the echoes of America's greatest generation are beginning to fade. But Helen Joe's voice remains strong, a warning for all of us. They just take the America for granted, and the government for granted, and just don't realize what freedom really is. Mm -hmm. It costs. Yeah, mm -hmm. the yeah. lives. It almost <laughs> cost you your husband. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I can't tell you how sorry I am that we don't have enough time to share more from Helen Jo Stoddard. She is such a delight, as you can see. She'll turn 102 on Halloween this year. But to give you a brief glimpse, a little bit more into her personality, take a look at this. You're 101. And a half. And a half. <laughs>
Because I'm still going. <laughs> right? Well, we've got some. You are the oldest person I know who still counts in half years. <laughs> What's up with that? Well, <laughs> when you get this old, every month counts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I mean. Delightful. And, and I couldn't even scratch the surface on how her late husband, Lauren, was such an American hero there at Pearl Harbor before being shot down and how he stayed in contact with his surviving crew members or how the crew of the plane they were flying cover for and actually made it back to base met every year and considered Lauren Stoddard the hero who saved their lives. Maybe on this Memorial Day we can all reflect on Lauren Stoddard and the countless others like him who saved the world from tyranny back then and continue to do so today. In studio, Bob Evans, Fox 13 News, Utah.